Good evening. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at something else. <laughs> uh, yeah, hello. Um, it's uh, early evening here now. It's about quarter, no, it's after seven o'clock. It's been a reasonably nice day. We've had the coldest uh, March and April so far on records. <laughs> it's not great. But uh, one uh, is thankful for uh, small mercies. <laughs> it's, but uh, in the, re I, the good thing is uh, I got my washing done. and was able to put it on the line and things like that. So uh, it's, uh, it, you know, it's been productive. So it's a later video. It's a later video than normal. Uh, I don't know. I've got everything a bit giggly. Um, I'm really getting to the end of the bowl here. Of a, um, I have got to the end of the bowl. I thought I had a bit more in there, and I was saving it. I thought, well, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait until I do the video. And of course, what happens? There's about one puff's worth left in there, and uh, I um, uh, and I've smoked it out, so I can't even smoke the pipe. Never mind. It, that's not important. Uh, I'm smoking this uh, Sam Gowers uh, Scotch Cut mixture. Scotch uh, and Scots Cut. I, I, who am I to question this? Scotch to me is a drink. Scott is uh, what I would regard as you know something from Scotland. Scott, Scots, Scots Cut maybe, but it's Scotch anyway. But I, who, I, well, I'm not going to question Sam Gowarth over this. I bought this tin uh, some time ago. In fact, I bought it when it when the uh, tobacco first came out. Stuck it in my my cellar. I've got a, a kind of like a it's, it's a bamboo cupboard a friend gave me as a gift. It stands about that about that high. And it's rather nice, and it's perfect for storing tobacco and things like that. So I keep, uh, there's a drawer, and, and in the cupboard bit, I keep tobacco, tins of tobacco. And in the drawer, I keep uh, pipe smoking and snuff taking sundries, I suppose you could call it, and lots of pipe bags. Um, it's quite pleasant. As I say, it must be two or three years old, if that, if not more. Uh, as you can see, I'll try and get it. You might not be able to see this. Uh, there's a little bit of colouring on the wrapper inside, which is something I've noted with aged tins. Uh, a friend of mine, Eddie, uh, on the International Smoking Salon, he, he suggested drying it out a bit. Mine, however, because it's a much older, has uh, is pretty, well, it's just right, really. It's uh, It can go straight in the pipe and uh, you can smoke it, so to speak. Um... Yeah, so, uh, does the scotch cut mixture get the thumbs up? It's got a very modest amount of Latakia in it. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's quite pleasant. Um, reminds me of Punch Bowl in a way, because uh, just a hint of Latakia. So, you're not overpowered by it. It's not going to leave a nasty ghost in your pipe if you're not a Latakia smoker if you bought a tin. Um, it's just right, really, if you for this time of year, I suppose. I, I like I like Latakia, and I like um, you know a good belt of it. A uh, little mix from White's Frank's mixture that has quite a lot in. There's a chap in there who buys an ounce or two of it. And then he buys uh, a kind of quarter of the, um, uh, the of the of the weight he's bought in Latakia and adds it. So there's sort of like a quarter extra of Latakia there. So clearly that chap's really into his Latakia. Um, yeah, what else has been uh, happening this week? In the snuff box is uh, some Jockey Club. Uh, this was sent to me by uh, Light Your Pipe, Colin, very generously. Um, it's a uh, Tranter's blend uh word had it and um i think it was in fact it might even well have been uh uh colin who told me 
Tranters are not uh, making, they're not going to have snuff anymore, their own blends. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not surprised. Some of the tins that Colin said were kind of rusting a bit. So I don't think they actually sold that much. Um, clearly, from the tins, I think they clearly had it made, ground, milled at, um, at uh, Wilson's. So uh, so you might not be able to get a hold of that. They do, they're online, so if they might still have it. But be, be aware that the tins I had were clearly quite old. It didn't affect the snuff at all, but... Um, but there we go. Yeah, I've been um, loose snooze. I've been using some Odin's. I bought ten tins of this. Uh, it comes from um, Israel, <laughs> and uh, they don't. I'll put some weird, uh, you know, the customs, uh, the customs um, uh, chitty that has to go on the package. This time it was coach kosher, and then it had an S and I R A S. So uh, this is kosher, you know. Uh, the, the other one, I these are portioned snooze, so if you've not uh, seen it, that before, there we go. Uh, it's off-road portioned snooze with wintergreen. Uh, I rather like that flavour. It's kind of like, uh, the only thing you can liken it to is um, mouthwash. But it's kind of nice. Um, the portion I use when I'm out and about, because... Um, it's obviously easier with the one hand and obviously disposing this loose stuff obviously is it's like a, a moist paste and um, obviously disposing of it is not the easiest of things to do uh, in public whereas the portion ones uh, you can just pop it out of your mouth and they have a sort of handy little not ashtray but I guess snooze tray that you can put the spent ones in and boom, shut it. Uh, so I use the loose at home and uh, use the portion out and about and obviously take my snuff box occasionally as well. Um, other than that, uh, not much has, not much else has happened. I've been getting into uh, a friend on um, Facebook. He, he use, he's a beekeeper uh, and uh, it's fascinating. He, uh, <laughs> so I've been getting... Very interested in that, watching that. Of course, uh, Sherlock Holmes retired to Sussex uh, in his uh, last bow, I think. He was in such beekeeping and such like. There's a very interesting um, Sherlock Holmes TV story. It's not a, a, from the canon of uh, Conan Doyle's work. It's a sort of extra canonical one uh, with um, Boris Karloff uh, uh, as Holmes. Uh, and it's all about killer bees and such like, which is rather interesting. Um, other than that, uh, I've been smoking this a fair bit. Um, that um, odds and sods mixture I put together from bits and pieces from the from the box. This is a Spitfire Church Warden. Um, Ian Walker of uh, of Northern Briars fame put a nickel collar on it for me. A friend of mine, it never used to have one. Sat there doing this with it, and of course it cracked the um, cracked the the, the uh, shank there. Uh, so uh, Ian Walker popped this uh, nickel collar on it. But um, the odds and sods mixture was a bit bitey and a bit not not you know because of that it wasn't a very pleasant smoke. So I stuck it in the warden in the hope of uh, of uh, you know a good um, getting a better smoke, and it worked. So finishing that off. Other than that, chaps, it's uh, it's been a very quiet week. Uh, Reg is in his tent. Uh, he likes to get between the covers, which I put on the sofa to protect it from him. But he likes to get between that uh, and he gets underneath it. So so no Reg today. He's uh, snoring away under there. Uh, okay, uh, well, have a good week. And uh, I look forward to uh, making my next video next Sunday. But I hope you all have an enjoyable week and uh, happy puffing. I'll just show you Reg. Reg in his tent. There's Reg. 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 What's this? What's this? What's this? Hello. I'm going to have a stretch. That's on the telly range. There we go. 
Okay. Uh, no, back up on. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. No, it's going to sit there. There we go. Okay. Well, best of luck to you all. Have a nice week.